The Algorithmic Justice League is an organization focused on making ethical and inclusive technologies. And what our research has shown is some of these systems have gender bias, some of them have racial bias. And so how do we then make sure the systems we're creating actually include a full spectrum of humanity? Give me an example. Sure, so one of our biggest studies is called Gender Shades. And I had this experience of coding in a white mask to have my face detected. I was like, why am I wearing a white mask? So I started looking at face recognition technology. I tested systems from IBM. I tested systems from Microsoft and Face++, a billion dollar tech company in China. Turns out they all work better on men's faces than women's faces. They all work better on lighter faces than darker faces. And for darker skinned women, highly melanated, like my skin, they had error rates of up to 47%. Why does that matter? Where's the impact? So the reason this matters is you have facial recognition being used by law enforcement. So in the UK, you actually have false positive match rates of over 90%. So you have people being misidentified as criminal suspects. The ACLU did a study where they had 28 Congress members erroneously matched with mugshot database photos from Amazon. Then you have companies like HireVue that say we can analyze your face, we can analyze your voice and use verbal and nonverbal cues to see if you're going to be a good employee. So if you don't match the characteristics they're looking for for their current top employees, you might get denied a job because of your face. So I call this failed machine learning, failing freedom, money, love, right? So freedom, you have the law enforcement, money, economic opportunity, and even dating apps. I was on a dating app that uses facial recognition, said it couldn't detect my face, so I couldn't get on the app. Oh my goodness. Help me understand, did these companies realize this? Was this an unintended consequence? Was it an error or was it intentional? So from what we can see in talking to the companies, many didn't know this was an issue because our basic ways of seeing how well these systems work are flawed. So we had a false sense of progress and that's what our technology and our research showed. So for example, with facial recognition technology, everyone's like, great, this is good tech. We looked at the benchmarks, the data sets they used to say how well these technologies are doing. They turned out to be pale male data sets. So you have a data set that's over 75% male faces, over 80% lighter skin faces, and that's what you're using to say how well do these systems work. So when we created our more inclusive data set with better balance of women, better balance of skin type, we found that they didn't work quite as well as they thought they did. So companies weren't aware at first, but now many of the companies we audited have actually closed these gaps. So they want to close the gap? They do, because if you have faulty technology and we're showing it, nobody's going to buy from you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.